basketball. Soccer. There are many aspects of physics that apply to rugby, including force, conservation of momentum, work rate, inelastic and elastic collisions, angle of trajectory, inertia, Newton's laws, kinetic energy, etc. You get the point. go ahead and start with the equation F equals M8 and how it applies to tackling. We're going to take Colton's approximate mass, which is about 60 kilograms, as well as Eugene's approximate mass, which is about 75 kilograms, and plug them into the F equals M8 equation and set them equal to each other, because we want to find out how fast or what their acceleration will be when they have equal forces. So we're approximating that Eugene's going about 10 meters per second. And doing simple algebra, we find that Colton will have to go exactly 12.5 meters per second in order to match Eugene's force. And set equal here, they will both have a force of 750 kilogram meters per second, also known as Newton's. Here we're going to give them both equal accelerations of 10 meters per second. Eugene will still have the 750 newton force that we found earlier, but this would give Colton a force of 600 newtons, which is 150 less than Eugene. Thus, Eugene maxing out over Colton. If we raise his acceleration above that 12.5 to something, say, 14 meters per second, with the acceleration, we would find that Colton would have a higher force than Eugene. In this case, with the numbers we just talked about, Colton would have a force of 840 newtons, and Eugene still having just 750 newtons. This time, Colton maxing out over Eugene. Ball! 